it's about 5.30 in the morning and I am up on deck because we are about to go through, well, I should say under the Golden Gate Bridge for the first time. I woke up extra early, it's still dark out. Hope we can see it. It's gonna be a foggy morning, I think. Cartoon series called Silly Symphony. 
Simple short subjects that rely heavily on the works of classical composers. Go ahead, man. today. So good. Stopped at Ghirardelli. I got a hot chocolate, Ryan got a strawberry shake. And we already hit, ooh, you hear my mouth. We already hit the Walt Disney Family Museum, which was super cool. Did you like it? Yeah, it was interesting to see like a lot of like, it was very family oriented of like how Walt like had a dream and a vision and his brother joined him on that journey. It was cool to see like their story of like failing a lot could have spent three so if anyone's looking to go there for the first time if you actually read through most if not all of the exhibits give yourself three hours um, and then they have a special exhibit going on right now called the nine old men which is in a separate building um, for us today it was an extra five dollars each to go do that but 
it was really cool as well. And that's there, I think, right now. It just started yesterday, actually. So May through, what was it, October? Yeah, I believe May through October. I have to double check that, I'm not positive. But um, it goes on for a little while and uh, really showcases a lot of really awesome artwork from these Disney animators. So yeah, a lot of fun. So now we're just walking down the wharf. We're gonna go try to check out an antique arcade real quick. We just had Mexican with our friend Brittany oh, and her so husband. Good. Met up with them for a little bit. And um, yeah, then we gotta head back to the boat. Too quick of a day. We didn't start early enough today. I woke up at five so I could go down and see the boat going under the Golden Gate Bridge. I was sleeping. He was sleeping, he did not come with me. I woke up and went to see it, but then I fell back asleep for a little too long. So today was cut a little short, but it's kind of what vacation's all about anyway, right? Yeah, taking it easy. That's what really vacation is, doing what you want when you want. Exactly. We'll check in with you guys soon. Bye. Old school, drums on the back. I'll share with you guys some history, and then I'll show you where I'm taking the art form. A uh, full set of drums with my feet, upper body electric guitar, bass guitar, keyboard, and vocal simultaneously. So uh, no backing tracks, no tricks. This is just the opening acts. It's a different band. Stick around for the finale. How about just a tiny bit of energy? Just to Striker. <laughs> They're so 
machine here. This so nice. Cool. 1889. That's pretty cool. Huh. That's like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. I think they redid that. Huh? We got like three minutes and we gotta go, babe. How many quarters you got left? How many quarters you got? Three? Did you just put something in there? Nope. Race. What do you do? It's a fireman race. Okay. So before certain quarters push back. Okay. I may hold it in, yeah. Uh-uh. Now you got a head start though. Ow, ow. <laughs> I just hurt myself. No. No. No, you're ahead of me. No, I got the slow one. <laughs> now, oh my god, unfair disadvantage. I'm inching my way to victory. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why? Oh, man. Two left. Let's get a good one. Yeah. Ferris wheel. This is cool. I guess back then, though, like everything was like. You just, it was just entertainment. Like, you just wanted to watch it. Oh my god, it's literally like foosball, foosball yeah. The original uh, foosball. Hello, so oh, Rachel. Where, who am, wait, which one am I? I'm blue. You're blue. Okay. Oh my gosh, come on. You. Oh my gosh, stop being so patient. We gotta go. <laughs> we, we won't make it back to our boat because this this silly game. Uh, uh. <laughs> Go on a while. But good use of a quarter. Hey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, you don't. <laughs> it just keeps like moving. I'm like, no. No, get off my hand. You, go. That's cheating. Come on, kick it. Meh. Nah. Hmm? 
Oh shit, what's that? Quarter pounder. Is that literally all it does? <laughs> you just put a quarter in there to make it pound a quarter. What is life right now? <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. Okay, you hold it. Hello. So we just got done eating at Palo. It was good. We're it was so made us full. Yeah, we're so full uh, and tired now. <laughs> so <gasps> Palo, for anyone who doesn't know, is the adult-only restaurant on the Disney Wonder. There's one on all four of Disney cruise ships, and it is an extra charge. Um, they have a couple different menu options, but most people will pay. Thirty dollars to <laughs> keep moving the camera. That is not a cute angle. Oh gosh! <laughs> Look at all my chins. This necklace is like stabbing me too. <laughs> oh my gosh! So Paolo was good. They take their Italian food pretty serious. Um, it is pure Italian. Um, great olives. Great um, bruschetta. Um, yeah, so at a first lot of great, they bring out yeah, just great things. They bring out a tray to your table and they ask you what you want off of it as like a shared starter with the yeah, bruschetta and olives, artichokes. Oh yeah, um, a Those really good, good cheese. I don't know what that cheese was, um, but that was really good. We shared that, and then they was it appetizers then <laughs> or the remember. palate cleanser. Yeah. I think it was the appetizers were next. So we had picked an appetizer. I got the gnocchi. Ryan, what'd you get? I got this vegetarian dish. It was like portobello mushrooms, like wrapped in like spinach and like potatoes. It was really good. I'm going to insert photos as we're talking about this so you guys can see what we ate because we didn't want to film in there because it was a special like fancy restaurant overlooking the ocean. It was really pretty. Oh, excuse me. Wow, you're really tired. <laughs> So eating so good does to you puts you in a food coma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is such a thing. I think it was after Ugh. I think it was after the appetizer that we had a palate cleanser. They brought out a little bit of lemon sorbet and it was so good. Um sorbetto maybe. Sorbet, sorbetto, yeah. potato, potato, who knows. <laughs> I don't know, but it was really good and it like freshened your mouth up a little bit and then um, they brought the main course, which I had, was it a filet, I guess? I had, yeah. a, I had the steak and came with potatoes and it was cooked to perfection. It was so good. I couldn't finish it because I like really, I, I do eat meat, but I eat such like small portions before I get full. Um, so I eat like not even half of my... <laughs> But it was so good. Like if I was more hungry and that's like that was like all I was eating, then I probably could have eaten more. But since we had already had the starters, it was hard to finish. But what'd you get, Ryan? Um, what did I get for a main course? Yep. Oh, I got the again the portobello mushroom. Oh yeah. And the spinach with potatoes. But for a starter, I got what did I get? Oh, I got like this um. I can't even think. Shrimp right and oh, it was calamari. So this it was traditional calamari. It's pretty good. Um, and they had like this giant shrimp. It was, it was like, huge. <laughs> it was like the size of my fist. Like I took the photos from. It's like this is exaggerating a little bit. I took the like, photos from my side, so I don't well, know if you guys like will be able to that. see like how yeah. big it actually was. But hopefully, you can tell in the photo. Yeah. It was huge. Yeah, very very bready like long john silver heavy bread for those of us who grew up um with that. do not compare paulo to long but, john silver <laughs> it's like 
that such the polar opposite I know quality it's polar, wise i know it's the polar opposite but like <laughs> long john silver uses a lot of bread and oh my gosh that. anyways so regardless of that uh-huh oh <laughs> excuse me that's embarrassing this is how full we are we were like Oof. in a coma on yeah. this on this bed right now we're like oh and then we had a well, I'll fall asleep here. This is a good. Um, we knew uh, if we didn't talk about this right now, we would fall asleep and not actually tell you guys what we ate. So. And then I had like <laughs> this. We had this like butternut. This butternut. Oh um, yeah! Oh my gosh! Ravioli. This, yeah, this type. butternut squash ravioli. Our waitress yeah. was fantastic, and um, she was she was fantastic throughout the whole meal. But she had told us that we could share one of the pastas if we both wanted to get like our own main course. So we decided to do that, and her favorite, she said, was the butternut squash ravioli, and it came in like a br was it brown sugar butter sauce? Yeah, it was like something like that. And then it had like biscotti uh, crumbled on top, and it tasted like dessert. Like it didn't even taste like like yeah. a like a dinner. It was, and I'm really glad we shared it because if we had gotten it for our main course, it would have been like too sweet. I think it was more of like a snack because there was like yeah. six of them, and they were like. Something like that. Like, regular ravioli like size. That big, like I'm regular, such a picky eater usually. Yeah. And I don't eat butterscotch or butterscotch. Oh my gosh, butterscotch. <laughs> butternut <laughs> squash. Butternut squash. Did I say butterscotch earlier? Butterscotch. I don't even. I don't even know what I'm talking about right oh. now. Yeah, I, I'm so exhausted, but it was phenomenal so i highly recommend that i think that might have been like my highlight i mean my steak was fantastic like i said but i think that was like the most unique flavored thing that i had tonight yeah. um and then we had alcoholic drinks so i had this what was called a basalmic grande it was like gray goose um some other stuff and like strawberry mixed balsamic Vinegar, Gr I think, and then no, balsamic grande is what's called. I don't know. And then there was like muddled strawberries. In your oh case. yeah, um, it was, was really good. At it, it tasted it. like a like a like a strawberry slushy. Almost like a strawberry daiquiri, but like with a stronger flavor, like more alcohol flavor. I had a a cocktail just called Paolo, and it was pretty much like a lemon cello margarita. Um, it was fantastic, and I could drink those this entire cruise. I don't know if I can order them anywhere else, but it was so good, and it hit the spot. It was perfect, so yeah. um, really refreshing with the meal. And then after we were done um, our main courses, we both got the chocolate souffle. That was good. Very filling. We were pretty full yeah. at that point. I just it came with uh, a home. Didn't want to eat anymore. It came with a homemade uh, vanilla gelato. And that was, I mean, you could taste how fresh it was. That was so good. So we, we both had about maybe a quarter to a half of that. Because at that point, we were so full. Oh, and then our waitress good. brought us out these little shots um, of, what did she say it was? Lemoncello apples? There's some sort of apple. Um, this is what eating a alcohol. lot does to you folks. You forget things. Yeah, I don't remember. It was, well... Yeah. I, we didn't order it. It was just like a, I don't know if they give that to everybody as like a ending palate cleanser or if she just gave it to us because we are celebrating our anniversary. Um, but that was really, really good. Yeah. So we are stuffed. Our bill, um, stuffed. just so you guys know, because like, you know, it's not included in the cruise. Our bill with like two drinks and our meal came to, it was about $85. Yeah. Um, and I believe the tip was included for the alcohol, but yeah. not for the meal. So we added gratuity on top of that because our server was fantastic. Yeah, so um, Very knowledgeable, very helpful. Yeah. I highly recommend doing this meal um, with or without, you know, you can't have kids there. It's an adult-only restaurant. But whether you have kids or not, as a date night, it was definitely the best food we've had so far on this cruise. We've um, We've done two dinners so far besides tonight um and this was like a whole nother level of decadent and just delicious so highly recommend Paolo oh my gosh I already want to eat it again but I'm so full yep next time till next time yeah next time see ya see you guys tomorrow